Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, 8 a.m. So the plan for the day is to do plumbing. We've got a 20 by 40 vinyl liner here today, and we're gonna get this thing plumbed and put the lights in and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. There's lots to do today, so let's get to work. WD-40 and put this bad boy. <clears throat> Pick this up myself. <clears throat> Move. Did I nick it? I think I nicked it. Yeah, you nicked it. Yeah. I don't even know. I think it was. Sorry for all the hacking, guys. We're a little bit, a little bit on the cold, cold side. Well, let's uh, go ahead and pull apart those uh, uh, tread risers, I guess, or the steps. Pull them apart. Let's get everything cleaned up and stacked. Let's get it all stacked over here, and then we'll get our. I mean, like we don't need a whole lot today as far as tools. Then we get all our trailer cleaned up. Get this in kind of tip-top shape. Do we need like a, a wall vac? Would be like so cool. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't know if this has the power. Oh, it's a battery. What? Like M Makita has the bad wall vac, the small backpack vac. Yeah. It's powered by two Makita batteries. It's yeah, like something thin. Yeah, yeah, he gave it to me, but then I think he took it back. He gave it to you have? Yeah. He gave it to me to have it. He just gives away all the stuff and then he needs it again. Then he says something. Mad he would be? How about mad I would be? I pay for this truck too, buddy. I'll put web scapes underneath. Hey, <laughs> freak. Yeah, let me just. That that, that's yeah. Nice. Yeah, dude, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, here's the, the pool looking good. Besides some groundwater coming in, which is super irritating. We poured this yesterday, about an eight to 10 inch footing around this thing is not going anywhere. Put in two steps with a sun deck, it's on point, looking good. I think Jesus is about to get here. Everything looks good and straight. It looks really nice. Yeah, so the plan we're, we're doing today, we're gonna be doing two skimmers. Obviously, we're doing four returns. We're doing three lights. We're doing a drain. Oh, he's here now, Jay, the homeowner. That's a nice truck. It's got the blackout edition in the front. I don't know what they call it. <clears throat> no, that's Jamie. That's his truck. And then we're doing a slide here as well. So I have to figure out the slide location and all that. And that's it. So we'll get to work here. See you later, buddy. He's gonna pull in, pull out. He just leaves. That would be something, wouldn't it? This one. Well, those guys do that. Very nice, help support this whole thing. If you guys are interested in the build series, go check it out. We're doing an entire how-to build series with this entire uh, pool project. So it'd be pretty cool to see. Um, go check that out if you guys are interested in that. All the way down. On the step, so six feet minus 40 is 36. 36, come on, you piece of garbage. Nine feet, okay, hold me on the step. That ain't right. So that's not right. It's 34, you dummy. 34 divided by four. It's eight and a half feet. Hey man, I thought I did the math correctly. It's always something. 8.6. Okay, hold me on here. Well, I could do, I'll do the math. See, it's uh, 16, 17 feet. No. 17 plus eight and a half is 25 and a half. All right, got it. We gotta work within the confines of these. So, you know, it's like, these are for our return and light fittings. In this case, our return fittings. So, it, you know, we're gonna get closely to the center as we can. Other than that, you just gotta deal with what it is. Oh, congratulations, two points Jesus. <laughs> How many drains? Two. One, two? Yeah, always two, you can't put one. It's not a code. Ah. There's no spots for our return fittings, so we just kind of like make up some stuff. I guess it's typical. They never really were, I suppose. So look, um, scammers? huh? Two scammers? Three points for Jesus. <laughs> yeah, there's two scammers, two drains, four returns, one slide, and three lights. Yeah, over there somewhere. And seven jets. In for a cleaning system. <laughs> um, you gotta trench that all out. Get this kit here, load up all the small stuff, get it out of here so we can get our trench dug. Cause Jared's gonna have Jamie lay this out when you get that moving. Um, so you wanna hold my tape on the step for me? We can mark these out. All right, so half of 34 is uh, 15 plus two, 16, what? 17? Right here, right in the center. 
Hold on. Um, we'll just go like six feet. Well, we'll probably just go like five and a half feet. Okay, let me see. Hold me on this, hold me on this marker. Yeah, 11 feet. Yeah, that's fine. Five and a half feet. All right, so this is the light layout, but we're gonna do center. There's three. Depending on your light, you know, everyone's different, but we pretty much got like a 12 foot radius of shine is what we consider it. So if it's 12 feet, you got six, six, it's perfect. And so that's what we're gonna do. Now we also got the confines of all this, huh? Three. Three what? Two. Yeah, three lights. So if we go down, <clears throat> yeah, like 17 inches, what we normally do, we'll be good to go. I do, no, I don't like the forms better, no. Why? Well, the corners, for one. So you had to notch the corners, that took two seconds. I had to, they're sharper than heck on the edges. And then I had to drill them all. Sharper than heck, dude, you haven't put a Latham one in in two years. So how do you, how can you compare? Because I know, I got a good memory, no, dude. No, you don't have a good memory. You, have, you haven't done a Latham Listen, you can defend them all you want. I'm just telling you my honest review. And I had to drill all the centers. And they're not on three foot. They're on four foot. First of all, no. I, I said hey. I said drill the hole here. And do it right here. You started horns being December. You can't. Hey. Look at that turnbuckle. Horns being December. Oh. Um, yeah. We yeah, we did in January. December. December or January. We did it. I have a good memory nonetheless. We did horns be after December. <laughs> There's like enough trash to fill up a tiny corner of that thing. It's nothing to do with about a memory. It has to do with, I got other stuff I'm doing and I just didn't get to it. Doesn't matter, I remember what panels I install. So be that as it may, call me whatever you want. Center of that orange mark is where I need to be. I gotta think about our layout here. So we have our, our pull, our pulling system, okay? Which is, it pulls from the drains, pulls from the skimmers. We've got two skimmers. So that means we've got three lines, okay? And then we have uh, our slide and our returns is our pushing. So we've got four and five in total and we need to figure out the pump layout with the gas and everything else. Hey Jared, where's the gas coming from? Maybe this side? So I'll probably put the heater on this side. All right, if that's the case, I always look at, I have layouts and all of our equipment. So what I do, this is personally what I do here. I go back at my phone, show you guys a little inside tip. And I look at my pool equipment layout and I say, okay, what have I done in the past that's worked out really well? So this is the exact equipment pad that I'm doing over here. I'll throw up a picture. Now, the only difference is I have five lines. So um, what I'm thinking about here is this is basically, um, this is exactly what we're looking at. So now I can put, I can put the heater going this way and all the, the stuff can come in this way. But what I wanna do is keep the pump over here. So what I'm gonna do is put our three lines as our equipment pad. So our pump is like, it's about a, f we, we go about a foot to 10 inches here. 10 inches pretty much puts it right on the edge of the slab, which is kind of what I want. So well, I'll go 12. So that's one line. We'll go, oh, eight inches, two lines, three lines. Okay. And then we'll just, honestly, we'll just go right over eight, 16. That's what we'll do. And what that'll do is everything will go into the pump, filter, heater, and we'll give us room over here to kind of do some angles and to add some extra pipe for our salt cell and chlorinator. I'm not sure what we're doing on this pool. Give us room for our union valves and everything. So this is our complete layout. All right, all these lights are done here. Went ahead and siliconed them in so they're tight. Uh, we've got a threaded coupling we're gonna glue in and then come out, reduce to two inches. Um, hey. Same thing here as well. What? Those skimmers are better. See the, see the, see the way they have them fastened? I like the way they fasten too. 
actually. I'm saying they're flush. Yeah, I do. It, it's really nice. This is a really nice system. A lot of times they have tabs and they screw to the front. These ones are really nice. I like it a lot. So that's the skimming. These are just simple, man. You put it in, put the screws in, done on this kit, which honestly, I really like that. That the hat, they had the holes drilled and everything. So plus for Hydra on that. I've, I've said the last couple of videos that were, I did these, uh, I did a review on these panels because the first time doing them. Um, but that's a plus for them for sure. Pretty simple, guys. Where he's gonna start laying out pipe, start putting in fittings, and uh, we've got the Jesus head cam on, the plumber cam on, so we'll just keep it rolling. What are you doing? Let's go, Cal. Yeah. All right, I ain't got time today. Let's go. All right. Let me in, don't let me. Well, that's okay. dude, I'm dude going. come on, I'm let's going. go. Get out. Get out. I ain't got time today. Come on. Hey, you gotta put the bucket on. No, I'm not. I'm digging the trench with a three-footer. Yeah. Or you should have just got out. Set the height. No idea. <laughs> Set the height where that plumbing is right there, or at the, this concrete height. Plumbing. Close to the wall. What? Okay. Closest to the wall. The footing height. Where the is? Yeah, the, that is the concrete. The footing is the concrete. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> it's like talking to a tree, man. Talking to a tree. Go ahead and dig this thing out. Got our line marked. Three foot should make this whole spread. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Don't worry, you don't have to. that uh, back and forth you know until it stops that way it gets really good connection you're ensured that that's done really well and of course this is all schedule 40 PVC pressure and all the fittings are pressure fitted and we use all sweep 90s for our uh, all of our corners that way yeah, we have a better flow we don't have tight corners guys I screwed up the first set for some reason I was just you know in, in your in your head when you want to do four of anything you divide it by five to get the full length measurement divided by five you get you get that measurement and that'll get you four and I did four and so I did this whole thing about how I'm doing it and it's like yeah. you clearly did three so anyway um, these are six foot ten apart so that'll give us four returns he's just gonna mark them 17 inches down Ready to go. Doesn't matter. Just go wherever. Yeah. Over, left, or right. And that's the thing. I've said that before with the lights. You go over. We want this slide to come in probably right here. Okay. How do you want this slide? Is, do, do they make these? You want this one here? It's parallel? No. Or no, you want to stick them way out? Oh, I want I want this one. Yeah, parallel 90, with the pool. Yeah. 45? So you want it to go in probably right here. Yeah, I mean, you want it to go in somewhere right here. I would think, because it's going to come in at an angle. Guess, just guess, it's close enough. Yeah, no, on the, the far edge. So really, it's gonna be right here. It's really only two foot? Dude, we're in the we're in the footing. We don't gotta dig anything. Just got the final back from, say, from the customer. We did, they didn't really like the concrete price. So, so what we're doing here is, we originally had three foot all the way around, but now we're doing five foot, five foot on that side, then three foot, three foot. I think they'll eventually have somebody else pour it. Um, but, you know. We, uh, we charge a lot for our concrete. Our guys do an excellent job and the price reflects it. So what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna have them get some sauna tubes. We're gonna place them probably every six feet all the way down because it's only three foot. It'll take a couple years, but eventually this gravel, you can't pack it here. Like it's just impossible to pack. These walls are, are solid, but you know, you just gotta be very careful. You can't just go in there and start vibrating the heck out of everything. You have to be very careful. But anyway, we're gonna do that. That's gonna be a safety. It, it's this something like this wouldn't settle for like two or three years. So you really wouldn't know. How much it would settle? Mm, 
that's kind of to be determined because this is the rock we use mace mainly, uh, mainly. We're, i'm thinking about using this <clears throat> smaller stuff but the big stuff works really well because it's got it mixed in and this stuff just locks all together and so it works really really well still you know it still would need to be packed so we're going to put sauna tubes all the way around or at least on this side and that end um, because you know they would just be hanging in the air here this is going on the soil so it'll create like a bridge of sorts so um and, and that's just the reality of pool building to be honest so the reason you put the the sauna tubes in is for future settling you know what i mean so it's like it's bridging there so same concept here so we'll probably just do this side that side and we'll be good to go drain the slide please mark as you go this piping is extremely confusing if you don't do it right because we already ran the drain wrong the drain needs to be on that side it's not that big a deal we just got to cut it put a coupling in and just change it over there I'll put this uh, right here too because yeah no they don't do electrical inspections here so cool. hey what time when do you want to pour okay so whenever I want to yeah all right well I don't know we can shoot for like uh Tuesday Okay. Go port. Wednesday. All right, I'll call my pump and see what's up. Okay. All right, bye. Um, yeah, we can pour probably Tuesday, yeah? Throw the Z forms in on Monday? Why not? Or we can pour Wednesday. Whatever we want to do. Call Jason up. Hey, not much. Hey, uh, pump for next week for the slab. Mon Tuesday or Wednesday? What works for you? Ooh. Don't tell me neither. Am I hearing a kid? Am I hearing a child? Something like that. If you can't get me, I'm going to start crying. Sounds good. Okay, thanks, John. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. Getting everybody lined up here. Got to make all the calls. <clears throat> it's a system. Concrete guy. All right, I got a couple day flex. The pump guy. Dial him in. Call the concrete up. Boom. Maybe I'll call the concrete up first. Call the pump. Work the system until you get everybody together. It's three people. I haven't poured without a pump in. Hi, Mom. This is Brian. Brian, Jonathan with Port Building. Hey, yeah, uh, can you get me Tuesday at 8 a.m.? It's going to be 9 before I can get that over there, dude. Jeez, what do you guys got going on? I got, I got two orders, two jobs going before that, dude. Are they that gas station over there by the highway? No. Oh. Hey, we, we don't even have that one. It's always something, I swear every time. <laughs> Uh, probably it's... looking right around nine, buddy. Uh, what about Wednesday? Actually, it doesn't matter because Wednesday I can't do it. Um, you can't do it on Wednesday. No. Dang, that's just so late. So just one one hour later on Tuesday won't work. Well, I mean, I'm not saying it won't. I just, you know, it'll work. We'll have to make it work. Okay, so. What's the yardage on that one, buddy? Probably just a nine plus again. All right, thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Okay, bye. bye. That gum it, dude. It's so annoying. <clears throat> this ruins the day. It's like I can have everything done before Tuesday morning. So it's like I can pump it seven or eight. Thank you for calling Sunrise Concrete. Yeah, shoot. Hey, I got concrete scheduled. They can only get me at nine AM on Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Tuesday. Okay. 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 All right, thanks. Bye. 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 Huh? It's kind of late. Yeah, it is late, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. All righty, pretty simple. You've got everything in, your T's, everything's linked together. And then what we're going to do is put a, a rubber fitting here with our test kit and test them all. So pretty straightforward here. Nothing crazy. Um, just very simple. Uh, two feet right there. From You can pull from the stakes. Yeah, two feet. Uh, yeah, two feet's good. All right, so you have four feet in between. Yeah. And then we're good to go. That's gonna help us with our radius from here going that far. And we're just gonna just cheat it a little bit, you know? And one, it obviously gives us more room, but two, we're able to <clears throat> not have to use that many 90. 
Yeah. Hey, where do you want to put these conduits? I kind of put them in the middle of the slab or on the edge of the slab. I told you where to put them. Yeah, on the side, but that doesn't help us any. Yes, it does. He's going to put the electrical panel on the four foot on the four foot side of the slab facing the barn. That means I got to dig out for it. Then dig out for it. I didn't want to dig out for it. Well, you got to put them somewhere, dude. I already put them in and everything. I well, just... then put them. I don't know, on the side facing the barn then. You can just put a junction on them for now. And just run them along and tie them in later. Just, just put them, then just put them in the, <clears throat> then just stop them five feet of, or wh wherever the pool house is going to stop. Stop them right there so you can just mount them on the wall of the pool house. Okay, well. You listening to me? I am, I'm just contemplating what that size is. Well, it's, if the p pipes are 48 feet away, then that means the that's two feet minus that's 46 and then the slab's four feet so the pool house back of the pool house is 42 feet away all right we got to just redo these and we got to put them 42 feet away so so we're gonna do so screw this out huh so screwed this out may Slab was over here. I just wasn't thinking to be honest. Hold this. Alright guys, we had to move these over. I wasn't really thinking about it, but we basically I want this with the edge of our slab so he can run his equipment. Because he's doing all the electrical work. So I was thinking, oh we'll just run it, but we got it lined out good for him, the homeowner. So we're ready to go there. Looking good. You testing? You doing the test? Strains are done. Yeah, it's eight foot. Yeah, it's big man it's real big all right guys this is the, the drains are done it's pretty simple we got them two foot away two foot gives us enough room you have to come in the center that's code equal equal pressure and then come out and in he'll be back tomorrow i'm leaving tomorrow i'm going to la la yeah what bar? beverly hills networking event <laughs> oh dude traffic's horrible yeah. there this is the house this is the house they're staying at not staying at, but this is that his house that he's renting. He's got this ginormous pool in the back. Supposed to be pouring this on Tuesday, concrete. Huh? For a weekend? Yeah, I'll be back Monday. Alrighty guys, we're done for the day. Plumbing's in. He's just gonna come back and test them. Three lights, two skimmers, four returns, slide, drains, ready to go. I had to move that over there. That was kind of a mistake, but we got it. All good. Ready to go for Jamie, the homeowner. He's gonna run his main. So we're done for now. We're gonna go back to a project today uh, that we finished up a while ago. It's really cool. You guys, it's about the 40 foot fiberglass, uh, what is it, the Marvelous. It's got the per, um, pavilion. It's super dope. So um, we're gonna load up the trailer and uh, I'll see you guys over there. Oh boy. We made it. I guess, are they doing any yard work? What? I guess they're not doing any yard work. Maybe they're waiting for us. Huh? Them. Hey! We'll go on the dirt! Max load, baby! Whoa! Ah. Right here! Yeah, almost! Tip up! Tip down! Post, powder coated steel post or gather steel. Is there anything over there to clean up? Oh, look at this, huh, guys? Looking good. James did his own little handrail work, I think. Handrail, handrail, handrail. This is the project. Man, he keeps that pool low. I'd fill that thing up. This is the pavilion. Thumbnail. I know, dude. Look at that. Beautiful. That all painted. Looking good, huh? Fans up, lights are in. Stone is done. Look at that stone, huh? Fan, lights. What's that one? Nice. TV. Got the TV mount back there. Perfect stone doesn't protrude is this the board right here 
stone on the back gutters are in look at that man. we're done we're collecting a check after this i think they, we did some stone work that's why this took a little longer we want to do add some stone right back there underneath the slab but this is the pool dude looking good doesn't it forgot to get a hammer after i knew i was supposed to but... yeah i'm gonna keep cleaning up while you do that I really like that kind of that hand that uh, privacy fence design it's pretty cool pretty nifty I think he's gonna have his guys do sod I think they did stone back here too yeah they did stone everywhere up there as well just covered the foundation so and then our fence guys coming back to do the fence work and we're completely wrapped up man All right, everything strapped. We're good to go. Should be. There's no other better place to hook it, unfortunately. Okay, well, is see you on Monday. All right, everyone, we're done for the day. Well, I'm gonna go take this load to Coronado, take it back. James is gonna wrap it up. It's Thursday, Friday. I'm actually leaving to go to Beverly Hills for a networking event with Ty Lopez and a bunch of other people. So. If you guys are interested in my mentor program where I teach companies how to build a seven-figure pool company, I teach you the building side and the business side of it. There's a link below to my website and you can go check out the video. It shows you everything on what that mentor program is. But check that out. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much. Like the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. I would be grilling. I wouldn't be grilling the poop. He said, if you're going to be putting grilling chip over there, so I wouldn't be grilling your poop. <laughs> be that guy, dude. Nobody likes that guy. Nobody do that. That's ignorant talk. Slang, cussing around.